What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Cutter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Ben Davison. And Ben Davison <clears throat> compares Tyson Fury to the late, great Muhammad Ali after overcoming mental health issues. Now, of course, we know Tyson Fury deserves to be compared to Ali, according to Ben Davison. He says, <laughs> excuse me, for his incredible displays in and out of the ring, according to uh, former trainer Ben Davison. <clears throat> and Ben had this to say. He says that... Um, He beat Vladimir Klitschko, okay, and he stopped the reign of Klitschko. Then he went and beat Wilder. He went in and dominated and stopped Wilder the second time. And he says that I know some people will say Tyson didn't win that first fight. Difference of opinion, whatever, that is my opinion. And he went away and stopped Wilder, and I don't think there is anybody that has got a resume close to Tyson Fury's. He says, I had a good chat with Tyson this morning, <clears throat> Saturday, just to say to him, look, for what he has achieved in the ring, you have got to think about what he has achieved outside the ring. He has inspired thousands of people along the way, and people won't like comparing him while he is current to the likes of Muhammad Ali, but what he has managed to achieve inside the ring and outside the ring in terms of quality he has shown in the ring, but in the way he has inspired and helped so many people outside the ring. Tyson Fury will be spoke about for many, many, many years to come and probably eras when we are long gone. Those are the words of Ben Davis and his former trainer because, you know, that's a surprising, but he is a friend of uh, <clears throat> Tyson Fury. And, you know, that was his take on Tyson Fury to compare him to Muhammad Ali. Okay. Now, let me talk and counterpunch Ben Davison. Okay. Now, with this, let me talk about the noticeable things that, I, that you can compare to Muhammad Ali. For one, Muhammad Ali... And Tyson Fury share in common. They believed in. <clears throat> um, they were both suspended, okay, and they were not allowed to fight. I don't know if Tyson Fury really wanted to fight after that. I just know he was suspended. I know he had mental health issues, and that was not really the triumphant part of it. Okay, the only thing was comparable was the time off. Tyson Fury was out for, what, late 15, 16, 17, and he came back in a, uh, the, the beginning part of 18. So not really three years. Muhammad Ali was out three and almost four years. So three years and in in some change, and a hunk of change, okay? Um, and he couldn't fight because he didn't want to go to Vietnam, okay? At the time, they had to draft and be in Muhammad Ali. He backed his religious beliefs. Okay, now because he did that, <clears throat> a lot of people that were forced to go, some of them voluntary, voluntarily went. But you know, they questioned Ali and called him a coward for uh, not going. Okay, and the ironic thing about that, Muhammad Ali was actually the bad guy at that time. People frowned on the idea of him saying what he said, you know, <clears throat> and I do feel that because of the time frame is comparable, comparable, but nothing really more because Muhammad Ali went through something he believed in and was due to his religious beliefs. And I think my honest opinion, my humble opinion, I think that Ali didn't want to do that anyway. He didn't want to just hurt people. You know what I mean? Go to war because the government tells you to go to war, but the government won't protect you in your own country. 
See, people don't understand what was going on at that time. Okay. That was the sixties was a melting pot for a lot of bad racial divide. Okay. A lot of people, you couldn't go, if you were my color, you couldn't go to this part of the restaurant. You had to go to the back. You had to drink at a certain water fountain. You had to go to a particular bathroom. Okay. And it was damn near like apartheid, you know? And it might as well have been apartheid because the government did not uphold or help anybody in the South. They let the South do whatever the hell they wanted to do. You know, they started integrating schools, I think, like in the late 60s. And that was another cluster by itself. But we had a lot of problems over here. And then they just wanted this man, the heavyweight champion of the world, to mirror what Joe Lewis did. And he was just telling him, he telling everyone, I'm not Joe Lewis. I don't believe like Joe Lewis believed. And what happened to Joe Lewis? Joe Lewis got railroaded. Okay. They sued him unlawfully, took all of his money, and he died a very broke and miserable man. Why? Because he decided to do what the government told him to do. Okay. Now, what does that have anything to do with Tyson Fury? Nothing at all. But Tyson Fury is compared because he does believe in his beliefs. He's a Christian and he will tell you on a drop of a dime that I'm a born again Christian. I believe in my beliefs. And, and he had a confrontation with Deontay Wilder with uh, Deontay Wilder uh, shared some African uh, religion with him, you know, like Ashe which you believe in your ancestors. That's really the backstory. He didn't say that because, you know, but that's basically what that is when you believe that your ancestors are with you and they fight with you. Well, Tyson Fury didn't believe in any of that and he told you what he did and didn't believe in, you know. So he is an outspoken person. That's another thing he has in common with Muhammad Ali. You know, the fighting style, physicality. Muhammad Ali wasn't a very muscular guy and sure the hell isn't Tyson Fury. But they do know how to win. They have heart. They get up on times like the same way Tyson Fury, well, well should I say first, Muhammad Ali got dropped in uh, Madison Square Garden against um, Joe Lewis, sorry, Joe Frazier, and was dropped in the 14th round, okay? The way he went down, you didn't think he was going to get back up, Okay? Because the punch was just, you know, he said his legs wasn't there. He couldn't move the way he wanted to move to avoid the punch. Because a lot of times, Ali leaned back, okay? He wasn't able to do that in the 14th round of that bout. And he got caught with a clean left hook by Frazier. Went down. And it looked like he was going to stay down. But he didn't. He rose off that canvas, Right? He got back up, and he fought harder in the 15th round. Now, you can compare that to the 12th round and Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder, okay? You can very well compare that because when Fury was knocked down in the 12th round, if you saw that, and boom, and you saw him hit the canvas, you didn't think that he would get up from that. But he did. And that showed that he just had a heart. It was something within that told him to get up. He was fighting with something other than himself and his words. He was fighting with what was within. So was Muhammad Ali. So for that reason, they're comparable. Okay? And what did Tyson Fury do? Likewise, fought harder. In fact, hurt Deontay Wilder. Okay? And... See, if we're going to compare this, we have to look at, we have to compare also the situation, okay? It's ironic that George Foreman wants to help Deontay Wilder because George Foreman knows. So that means you're going to have to compare George Foreman to Deontay Wilder in, in, in retrospect, right? George Foreman was 40-0, 35 knockouts, Okay. Deontay Wilder was what, 42 and 0? Right? 42 and 0 with 41 knockouts. And nobody has beat this man. He was undefeated. Tyson Fury did, you know, 
and get a draw. You know, it was officially ruled a draw with him in the first fight. I'm not going to go into that, but um, I do feel, though, that Tyson Fury, he defeated Vladimir Klitschko, just like Muhammad Ali defeated Sonny Liston. Okay. But here's the now here's the tricky thing. He defeated Sonny Liston, but then the second fight was kind of sketchy. Right? Tyson Fury defeated Vladimir Klitschko. You know, and Vladimir Klitschko was the favorite in that fight, just like Sonny Liston was. Now, he did it. You know, and I think a lot of politics was behind the second win. But he definitely beat him in the first fight. So that you can compare those two guys together. Uh, Sonny Liston to Vladimir Klitschko. Sonny Liston was smoking and mopping people. The way he did uh, Floyd Patterson was just merciless. He beat him like a redheaded stepchild. Then comes a young, flashy, golden Olympian turned pro, Cassius Clay. You know? Blinding hand speed and stuff like that with the mouth to match. Taking on Sonny Liston. Beat Sonny Liston. Right? Sonny Liston quit in the sixth round. I think it was the sixth round. Okay? Now, Vladimir didn't quit, but he definitely won and he did something. That, and there was two guys, Muhammad Ali, Tyson Fury. They did things that they didn't supposed to do. They weren't favored to do, and they did them anyway. So that's another comparison. Okay. Now, the differences also. I do think that Muhammad Ali was more consistent and he did more in his career, the body of what he did, than Tyson Fury. Okay. So to compare these guys' resume from Ken Norton to Joe Frazier three times to George Foreman, you know, to Sonny Liston twice to uh, 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 Floyd Patterson, to Archie Moore. You know, you just had so many people. Henry Cooper. You had so many people that he took on that were, that had a name. And for like four or five years, he was undefeated in pretty much all of the 70s. He took on guys like Ken Norton again, Leon Spinks, Ernie Shavers. You know, he was taking on these guys. And then when he did get defeated, he came on again. Tyson Fury hasn't had that experience yet. So that's, you know, he, I think, and I feel, if what Ben Davison is saying, if he wants to adequately, accurately compare these two guys, Tyson Fury would have to do more in his career. And how would he do that? Take on Anthony Joshua. If it's a close fight, take him on again. Fight Dillian White. You know, he's got to fight De Deontay Wilder, so that'd be his third fight with Deontay Wilder. Dillian White, Anthony Joshua, you know, and then see, and then here's the thing. Then you have to take on all comers because Muhammad Ali did did that also. But did what Muhammad Ali did, was it warranted? Did it affect him? You know, that's the question. So maybe Tyson Fury is just doing what he's doing because like, hey, let me get out of the sport. I don't want to injure my body because see, back then people didn't understand what effects boxing could do to you. I mean, they probably knew, but they couldn't prove it, right? But you can, you, you know now. And what you know about now is that fighters are becoming smarter, you know, and they, they're they taking less punishment, some of them. And maybe Tyson Fury is that person. So to expect him to do what Muhammad Ali did at that time is probably asking for too much. But what I am saying, Muhammad Ali still did more. He was more consistent. But they both had layoffs. They both were outspoken. They both believed in their religion. Um, they both dealt with stuff outside the ring, right? I do feel Muhammad Ali's is more warranted, honestly. Not to take anything away from uh, mental illness because uh, that is a true problem in this day and age. So it's all really about problems. See, both of them are problems. The problems we had back there and then... You know, and the problems we have back then, they're all problems. So they're outside of the ring problems, personal problems, things they had to deal with. You know, I do think Tyson Fury was more uh, uh, um, 
secure than Muhammad Ali was because Muhammad Ali was broke a lot of the times because they stripped his belt and they stripped the uh, his license to fight. So, you know, but they did the same to Tyson Fear. I just think Tyson Fear was in a better spot. But it is it is interesting to hear Ben Davison say that. You guys tell me what you think about the comparison between Tyson Fury and Muhammad Ali, or I'm sorry, Muhammad Ali and Tyson Fury. But anyway, please subscribe, and you guys have been counterpunched. Peace.